Every day, hundreds of Steam items are stolen by thieves, pretending to be other Steam accounts. From time to time, this even happens to us, with do-no-gooders pretending to be our bots and hijacking transactions between us and our users. With the influx of people playing CSGO recently, we find that more and more users are getting scammed by various bad agents who use different methods to trick you into giving up your skins for nothing. In today's video, we're going to give you a short and sweet guide on the common methods scammers use to get your stuff, how to avoid them, and how to check whether your account is compromised. Let's start with the most popular scam, the API scam. How does it look for you as the user? You're trading with someone, whether it's our website, a marketplace, or your friend. They send you an offer, something goes wrong. However, seconds later, you get another offer. Everything seems identical, so you dismiss it as a glitch and accept it. Suddenly, your skins are gone, and the person or website you were trading with never got them. Did they steal from you? Are, are, are they tricking you? No, you fell for the API scam. So how does it work? Did the scammers randomly guess your trade? That's impossible, they didn't do that. No, they had access to your account. There are two options. Either they did it through a fake login website that looks just like the Steam community login, or they got you to give them access to your Steam API. API access allows scammers to see incoming trade offers and quickly disguise themselves as the person or website you're trying to trade with. So how can you avoid getting scammed? First off, make sure that your account is secured. Head to the following link somewhere around here and deauthorize all the devices you don't recognize. Then head to the Steam API key page, once again, link somewhere around here, and if it looks like this, revoke it by clicking the Revoke My Steam Web API key. If you don't have an API key, you don't have anything to worry about. Just to be sure, reset your Steam trading URL, once again, link somewhere around here, and click on Create New URL. This ensures that the scammer is completely locked out from your account. Got it? Good. Thanks a lot from Jambox on the Global Offensive Trade subreddit for writing a de very detailed guide, which we'll pin in the comments. You'll, you can read much more about this. So how do you avoid it in the future? Avoid using unpopular extensions and websites. Always make sure that you log into accounts that are connected directly to the Steam platform. A good way to avoid fake login screens is to open steamcommunity.com, log in there, and then use the logged in account on websites. Don't ever give access to your accounts Steam API to people and websites or apps you don't trust either. Finally, while taking all these precautions, still double and triple check every single transaction you make on the Steam Marketplace. Since the scammers can't approve the trades for you, they're banking on you not noticing the differences between the right and wrong account. Let's use trading with SkinWallet as an example. When you deposit on our website, we'll give you the bot's information. This isn't just limited to its username. The bot's level and creation date are always on display. Every website does different things to ensure that the bot you're trading with is their bot and not a scammer. However, the most foolproof way to avoid a scam is to simply click on the profile of the bot you're trading with and check their previous nicknames. Most scammers are lazy. They bank on you never double checking the scam. So they simply quickly change their name to that of the Steam account they're trying to pretend to be and call it a day. Luckily, Steam can show you the recent personas of a certain account. If you click on it and check it with a triangle dropdown, if your account of you're trading with has a bunch of weird names in their history, like bot names, it's a big red flag that you shouldn't accept that particular transaction and that your account might be compromised. Now for a quick fire round of other evil and evil plans that might ruin your day. The Steam Wallet Scam. A scammer sends you a trade offer with a message saying that you will receive a certain amount of money for your item to your Steam Wallet. This isn't possible. Steam doesn't allow trading with Steam Wallet funds. Do not fall for it. Impersonation. 
Valve employees never contact you through the Steam chat. Yet some people still try this scam, telling people that their items are suspicious and that they need to scam it so you should send it over to them. Don't. Don't ever fall for their BS. Nobody from Valve is going to contact you through Steam DMs. The next one is the middleman. This one is a simple one. The scammer tells you that they want your item and they want to trade in money or Steam codes rather than items. They say that they understand your mistrust, so they suggest that you use a stranger with a reputable account as the middleman. The whole trick? They're not actually strangers. They're in on the scam or sometimes just an alt account of the scammer. As soon as you accept that trade, you can say bye bye to your items. Your best way to avoid all of those scams is to stay alert, never trust somebody you don't know you can trust, always triple check any link you click on, and make sure that there's a lock indicating a secure site whenever you log in. While the items you're trading may be virtual, the money they're worth isn't. So if you're looking for a safe, secure place to cash these items out, head to our website, skinwallet.com, to cash them out to an e-wallet of your choosing right now. That's it from me. If you liked our content, please leave a like and subscribe. Special thanks go to Jambox, Friendly Flip, Philip, and Gatsby B for writing some awesome guides we've used as sources and linked in the description and pinned comment. If we missed anything, let us know in the comments. If you hate my corona hair, let me know in the comments and follow us on social media for more dank memes and CSGO content. For now, thank you very much for watching. Safe, stay safe in these trying times and have a great day.